Um, so it turns out that finding a place to record at home is much easier than finding a place record to record at school because I have a room all to myself, a room that is mine, uh, a door that locks, and the perception that no one can hear me. Hello Awkwardnauts, it's Monday. I'm currently on fall break right now um, because I have to follow the schedule of the elementary school that I'm placed at, not of the school that I go to. Um, except I have a lot of homework to do actually, so it'll be a good week to not have to go to class but to still do a lot of work. So yay! Sarah, I love the idea of mail. I think that's so fun. Getting mail is, is just fun in general and so then just having people to get mail from and send mail to is just even better. Um, Alex asked if we watched TV, um, and the answer is yes, except mostly I watch TV on the computer and not so much actually on the television. When I'm home, I do more just because my family watches TV on the TV, but at school, school is just so busy and crazy, and all the good TV shows are like inconveniently placed in the middle of the evening. Um, so at school, mostly I just play catch up and watch them all on the internet. Kat, you're, you pointed out that we have four different accents, so I think that that should be some kind of a challenge or a theme or something. We should try to do other accents or each other's accents or something. There's been a lot of this kind of thing in the video. I don't know. I think I'm feeling very hankish today. Um, talking about accents made me think about um, the words that we use when we speak and what kinds of words we use that would be different between like the US and Canada and England and then what words we use that would be different depending on where we live in the US. So um, on that note, Coke refers to any beverage which is carbonated so a conversation might go like this. Hey man, thanks for coming over. Are you thirsty? Would you like a Coke? Sure, yeah, that sounds good. What do you have? Um, Sprite, Coke, Dr. Pepper, Mellow Yellow. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper sounds good. We have no idea what soda is, and Pop is a name that uh, some people use to refer to their dad. When you go into a restaurant in the South and you would say, and they say, what would you like to drink? And your answer is tea. It is automatically assumed that that tea will be sweet and that will that it will be iced. Y'all is a word which means all the people in the group so hi y'all or what are y'all doing or hey y'all it's Monday. I feel like I need a cowboy hat for this conversation that we're having. Um, and then for food in general the rule of the south is if it can be fried then do it. For example I've had fried Oreos, fried Twinkies, fried Twix, Fried Snickers, fried Reese's, fried s'mores. I feel like the guy on Forrest Gump with his list of things you can do with shrimp. Uh, fried candy bars can be found at any kind of event where you would also find a funnel cake. That is my defense. Oh, I didn't answer my own question. Okay, I picked the school that I go to because it's up in the mountains. It's pretty up there. Uh, we go snowboarding. Um, I love the hiking and all the outdoor stuff that you can do up there. And even though I'm like five hours away from home, it's the place where I needed to be. And like Sarah said, I think the, what happens when you look for schools when you have to live away from home is that you look at a whole bunch of different ones and then you just find one that feels right and then that's just the one that you go to because it just, it feels right. DFTBA and Sarah, I'll see you tomorrow.